Guys, we need to talk about Google because they just released their new AI, Gemini 3, and this thing looks wild. There is a lot of hype around it, but what did Google really launch? So the first thing you need to know is that they release only their pro model. This is the kind of model you will use for coding, for deep research, for long running tasks or complex tasks. So not the kind of task you do every day like grocery shopping or recipes. But why is it so good? Why is everyone talking about it? So we need to take a look at the benchmarks they publish on their website. And I don't want to go through all the benchmarks, only the very first one, humanity's last exam. This is a super tough benchmark for AIs because it mimics the way humans reason to solve problems. So it's incredibly difficult for LLMs or AI to achieve any good score here. And Gemini 3 Pro got almost 46%, which is insane. For comparison, let's take a look at ChatGPT. And GPT-5 Pro got 42%, but GPT-5 Pro is a model you wouldn't get on the UI from ChatGPT, so you cannot use it. You have to pay a lot of money to use this model using the API. So it is insane to think that Google just released a model that everyone is going to be using from now on without any extra charges that is even better than the best model of OpenAI. And the craziest part is that they release it everywhere. So now you have it in the app, you have it on your Android phone, you have it in any Google service there is. If we learn something from the release of ChatGPT 5 is that benchmarks are not all. You remember how good that model score in most of the benchmarks and how bad it really was. Now, that's why I cannot tell you that Gemini 3 Pro, it's really that good. I'm preparing my full review, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. But let's take a look at what Google is claiming. The first thing is that along with Gemini 3 Pro, they are also releasing Deep Thing. And this is a modality that allows the model to think longer. So their AI has more time to think and reflect on the topic you're asking about. And this leads to incredible results. If you take a look here, it says that it can achieve a 41% on humanity's last exam without the help of any tool. Those are technicalities, but it means that giving it more time to think makes it even better. Now, what they are claiming a lot is that this model is capable of learn anything, build anything, or plan anything, which in other words translate that it's a great agent or it's great for agentic capabilities. And if you're wondering why should I care about that, it's because if you're an Android user, not like me, then you will have Gemini built on your Android. Meaning Gemini is now way better at doing the stuff you want it to do, like calendars, like emails, like automating some parts of your life. Now it should be way, way better. So you should see some improvements in your life as well. But this is just Gemini 3 Pro. I'm super excited about 3 Flash because that is the model we use most of the time when we use Gemini. So this model will probably have the biggest impact in our lives. And after all of this, I'm seriously thinking of leaving ChatGPT right now. But let me know your thoughts and see you in the next one. Bye.